Now, do you have some chickens or maybe some roosters that are causing you trouble and you need to get rid of them and you don't know how? Well, you have come to the right place. Today, I will be showing you how can you butcher your chicken simple, easy and fast. First things first, I want to thank Mr. Justin Rhodes, who makes an awesome homestead show in the United States to get me started with butchering my chickens. So we are going to do this the simple way with some simple tools that you can find in anyone's home. Let's start with the good sharp knife. We are using this uh, awesome Fiskars knife sharpener, which you can find here in Finland. Fiskars is a high quality Finnish brand that makes high quality tools. Then you need a cutting board, some paracord, scissors, thermometer, gloves if you prefer. Two buckets, a cooking plate, and a pot of 10 liters. You also need running water. So now go gather these tools and we shall continue. Heat the water to 146 Fahrenheit or 65 degrees Celsius. This doesn't have to be exact, but closer the better. Cut some paracord uh, to the length you need. Hang the paracord somewhere and make a loop which tightens up when you pull it. And if possible, get someone to assist you. Now grab your gloves and go get your first victim. Hang your chicken or rooster upside down. This will calm them. So grab the chicken from the head and just below the, the head from the neck, where is the jugular vein, you make a tiny slice, slicey cut. Ask your assistant to hold the chicken uh, still while you are cutting the neck and put the bucket under the chicken so the, the blood can drip there. It takes more or less two to three minutes for the chicken to die and then you can start the scalding process. Measure the temperature of your scalding water. We dip the chicken into the water You can swirl it around a little bit. And the feathers are coming out nice. You can test the, the wing feathers and when they start to come out nicely, then you know you have scalded perfect. The more pair of hands you have in this job, the better. So we have the chicken here on the table. The first thing we did, we cut off the head and uh, we took the neck, which is good for uh, soup. And now we are going to remove the legs. You put the chicken on the back and you bend upwards. You don't have to cut the bone. That's what you, you're not supposed to do. Just uh, slice through from the joint. like that and then we want to open up the chicken so what i normally do is i make a slice here close to the the vent over there and the same on the other side like uh, this cut around it You see? Now you can see the intestines. And there you go. You open it up. And voila! There you have it. Now uh, scoop with your hand. Uh, break all the, the tissue, this white stuff, the inside. Be very careful not to break the intestines. 
from both sides the right side and the left side we want to break the tissue and also from the upper part here okay uh remove the lungs mm -hmm. this is the lung this is what we're gonna dispose we're not gonna use the lungs for anything oh uh, we want to get rid of that once you have all the intestines out you can cut just next to the vent and uh, just cut under mm -hmm. and there you have it now let's see what uh, is intestines we are going to use this one is the heart this is very good in a soup so we're gonna use the heart okay so the next thing we are going to remove is the liver uh, be very careful not to break this one it's called the bile and it will make everything taste absolutely awful bitter bitter yes so we have to be very careful not to not to break the bile you want to remove the gizzard from the rest of the tissue ah maria what do you use the gizzard for to fry it oh so you fry it and use some spices oh okay and it tastes very good so but... the rest of this is basically useless stuff there's a little piece of liver still if i'm gonna try to get it off so we are gonna discard this one and then I will leave the gizzard to Maria because she knows how to cut it. Maria also uses the legs, so she knows how to, to process them. No, didn't. Okay, the next thing we will cut the chicken. Maria is wor Maria is working our kitchen, so she knows how to cut the chicken I'm gonna let her do it so we can make this process a lot faster It's a good thing that I am married to a Peruvian woman. 
<laughs> Just have to be careful around her when she's having the knife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. So we butchered five roosters today and time-wise it took us two hours more or less. Now we have cleaned everything outside and we are gonna vacuum pack some of the meat and we are gonna prepare some delicious chicken for the dinner. So if you liked our video remember to hit that subscribe button and you shall be notified every time when we make a new video. Take care now and live healthy.